Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm getting ready to spend some time with Vernon. He is our 28 year old permanent resident and he has Cushing's. So that is in quick overview, it's a tumor in the brain and it basically means they're constantly releasing stress hormones. And for him, it manifests as a coat that just keeps growing and doesn't shed naturally. So we have to shave him, especially in the heat here. It's like 85, 90 degrees, humidity. So we want to make sure that he's comfortable. So we usually end up shaving him around three times throughout the summer. So we've got to go do that today. So let's get started. So as you can see, he's looking a little scruffy. Um, so we've been, like I'll get him half shaved and then have to stop and never get to finish the job. So <laughs> I'm gonna see how far I can get today. I did get some replacement clipper blades, so that should help. Got to get our coolant, lubricant. We've got our details and then our clippers here. So a little about Vernon. I rescued him when he was 25 years old and completely restarted him from scratch. He couldn't be caught. He was super buddy sour. He hadn't been ridden in a super long time. Um, so yeah, I started him from scratch and he is literally like the best horse. All of our lesson students love him. That's Gus right there, but. So this white mark across his nose, he was found by somebody tied to a tree and he was there so long that it had worn away the, the pigment for his hair there. You can see if I, <laughs> I part his forelock, you can see all the gray. And then under his mane here, there's all the gray. Um, but once he's trimmed up, he looks super young and energetic. So we're going to get started on that. So he had quite a bit of energy when I first got him. So he was, you know, fine to go do lessons. He slowed down a little bit over the years. So now he's mostly retired and just does like a walk <laughs> lesson once a week, something like that. So he's got a very light workload. So I'm just going to groom him up really quick. You never want to shave or clip a dirty horse. It dulls your blades really easily. So we're just going to clean him up a little bit and then get started. He's so gentle. <laughs> so I'm gonna take him over into our round pen, which has a little shelter in the corner. It's the only shaded spot that's close to the electricity of the barn this time of day. So we're gonna head on over there. Gus is very upset to be all over there by himself, even though he can still see us. Hi, buddy.
you always want to be checking to see if your clippers are hot. If it's too hot for your skin, it's definitely too hot for the horse. And that's where this coolant comes in really handy. It helps speed up the cooling process. You make sure your clippers are pointing down so it doesn't run into the mechanism. I've just taken a little break here to let Vernon have some time. The clippers get really hot really quick because they're working very hard to cut through his thick fur. And I did rinse him down yesterday, but he's not like super, super clean, like just bathed and dried and so forth. So you can see all the hair on the ground there. Um, so I'm gonna let the clippers like fully cool, cool down and um, then we'll get back to it and do a little bit more. Buddy, he's coming to see how you look, hi. And get a snack in a minute. So I've got, so far, I got all of his belly done and then most of the sides here. You know, I'm not going for super pretty. I just want it to be functional because it does take quite a bit of time. Um, and then I'm just gonna do a little bit on the legs there to clean that up and if I were to really take time I'd go in and do you know his whiskers and his, his jaw scruffiness but uh, I don't like to put them through too much stress 28 is pretty old and he does put up with a lot if you've ever clipped a horse you know it basically just gets all over you <laughs> all on your clothes on your skin And of course you want to make sure that you're keeping your clippers clean as well. See all the hair that gets in, in between the blades and the extra oil. You want to make sure you clean that out so the clippers don't get rusty. <laughs> and put it all back together so it's good for the next time. Okay, it's been close to about an hour. And I've just been working on Vernie here. Oh, my pocket's out of snacks. We'll get one more. One more snack. So I've basically like debulked in terms of the hair. So I got all of his neck, you know, and I just kind of debulked the legs a little bit. I have a smaller trimmer. What I'll do is come back and get in the grooves and stuff, but I blend it up into his bum a little bit there. But like, I'm gonna keep going and shave all of that. But yeah, you can see like the shine comes out. It shows off his muscles. And he's in really great shape for his age too. He's got good feet. He's taking a nap. <laughs> so he's doing a, a lesson later today and he's gonna get a little rinse off after that. So you wanna have more? Probably not. So, nope, I don't wanna do any more. <laughs> so we'll get back to it hopefully tomorrow. And that'll be right now. Okay, it's the next day and I've just finished giving him a rinse down. I usually don't do, um, I don't use soap on that first bath because it's, especially with him, it's not a clip, it's a trim, or sorry, it's not a trim, 
it's a shave so he's just had a little bit of water and it dries so fast <laughs> your teeth are squeaking he's missing four teeth <laughs> um, but uh, it dries so quick when um, when there's not as much fur so this is him looking all shiny you can even see his white foot now it's actually white so Gus is causing a fuss over there right, Bubba? <laughs> your teeth are squeaking all right there was even some deer that uh, cut across the field behind us and he didn't even move so he's a good boy Look, you can even see his dapples. All oh, super shut out. See if he's gonna go for a roll. <laughs> oh, there he goes. Gus, you're in the way. Oh. All right, everybody, that's it for the video. Uh, like and subscribe if you liked the video. Let me know in the comments what you think of Vernon and his cute little shaved body. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one.